when you think of Andre Bishop as a challenger? I think you're an idiot for asking me that question. You get paid to do this? It's your first show? Challenger. I think it'll be a challenge not to kill Andre Bishop. Little Andre can't even throw a punch without breaking his hand. Those were Isaac Frost's words just a few short months ago after Andre Bishop apparently hurt his hand in a fight right here on ESPN. After only taking a short break to let the hand mend, Andre Bishop back in action tonight against heavyweight contender Reggie Stewart. Many are interested to see if the injury will have lingering effects on Bishop in what should be a very entertaining heavyweight matchup. Let's go back ringside to Joe and Teddy. Boardwalk Hall here in Atlantic City, the next stop for the heavyweight career of one Andre Bishop. How's it feel? Feels good. Feels real good. Good. Because you got to knock this guy out with him. It's time to show the world that Andre Bishop is as good as Neil. Bishop's now making his way to the ring, and you can see how focused he is for the task at hand. And the answer to the question everybody wants to know may come here in round number one. How healthy is Andre Bishop's right hand against Reggie Stewart? Bishop's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. What an intense hook landed by Andre Bishop. In a matchup like this, Teddy, we know the outside fighter is gonna try to stay away from that power puncher. But what about the outside fighter putting forth his own offense? What can we look for and expect from him? Well, distance will create offense for him. Misses will create offense. What he has to do is allow the aggressive fighter, the power guy, to do some of his work for him. When he tries to get in, make a miss, make him pay. Protecting his head well with his guard. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. For those of you who question Andre Bishop's broken right hand, here's a good example of how he feels about it. He's throwing it. Andre Bishop getting to his opponent's head. Nice job by Bishop with the power shot. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. A well-placed overhand right. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Stewart's in bad shape, but he's doing the only thing he can at this point. He's tying up. Yeah, but what I'm a little surprised at, and I think what his opponent's going to pay a price for later on, he's letting him tie up. over the top lands flush you remember when Andre Bishop was a good hard charging middleweight prospect he was a great combination puncher that's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here good solid overhand left Stewart's clearly affected by that solid Every punch landed in that combination, and he goes down hard. One, two, three, four, you talk about putting an issue to rest. How about Andre Bishop scoring a knockout? With the injured right hand, everybody was questioning. He does it here tonight against Reggie Stewart. Isaac, which Bishop brother hits harder? Which Bishop brother hits harder? That's your question? I get these people. Well, neither one of them can punch like me. I can guarantee you that. But between the two of them, well, I'd say little Andre hits harder. 
I mean, the jailbird's washed up now. I mean, he was a genuine contender. But the big baby. Well, the big baby has always been a pretender. <laughs>